Central California, we're visiting Lily's parents, but there was a Dollar Tree. And she said she'd let me go. Let's dive in. Dollar Tree, we're set. Wow. Yeah! Yes! Yippee! Yay! 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 Aloha! The Goy Hunter made it to 500 subscribers. And who do I have to thank for that? My Goy Hunter family. Thank you so much for helping me get to this monumentous occasion. 500, thank you so much to all of you. I have a very special giveaway but you're gonna have to wait because lo and behold, we went up to see Lily's parents. They live in Merced. Merced is in Central California. Well, they don't live in Merced. They live in a town over by Yosemite, the beautiful state park. And I begged Lily, please, Please, can I check that Dollar Tree? And she said, yes. Oh. So believe it or not, the Goy Hunter found some stuff. Even after all those other bags of goodies I had, I still found a little more things to show you. And I wanted, I picked up as much as I could that I didn't have, even if I didn't want it, I bought it to show you what's out there still at the Dollar Trees. So, let's get started. I found this. American Girl original movie, Samantha. An American Girl holiday. 10th anniversary deluxe edition. Be forever. This is a Warner Brothers release. I guess it's a Christmas one. Let's see. You'll love Samantha Parkington and her remarkable stories in this deluxe 10th anniversary edition. Let's see. We journey back to New York, 1904. Samantha's prim and proper Grand Mary is raising her to be a lady. But her life starts changing the day she meets Nellie O'Malley, the servant girl next door. That sounds really cute. Samantha. The next goodie. Ooh. Spider-Man 3 with Tobey Maguire. Every hero has a choice. Uh, this is the... Ooh, this is when um, uh, Tobey Maguire has the girl of his dreams. New York City is in the throes of spider mania. But when a strange alien turns Spider-Man's suit black, his darkest demons come to light. I like this one. Spider-Man 3. This was a Marvel slash Columbia Pictures release. Now, I'm not sure if I had this, but I didn't care because I got it to show you. Top Gear, the complete season five, BBC USA, two discs edition. Here is the back. Incredible cars, hilarious antics. Let's see. Season five of the American version of the biggest car show in the world is better and faster than ever before. Top Gear USA. But it's a BBC production. I'm confused. Never mind. I won't question it. I will just buy it. Oh, sorry there. The next one, I know I only got it. I got it because this one had a slipcover. 
to replace my other one. And I did a no-no. I didn't take the sticker off. Sorry. So, the boat. I know I already got it on the last haul, but this one has a slip cover. So, I'm going to replace my other one. The next one I found was a Sony Pictures Classic. Oh, Horton. Oh, Horton. It looks kind of cute. So wonderful, luminous, and deliciously funny. Here is the back. This is a, let's see, this is a Sony Classics, as I said. Uh, the moment the train leaves the station, oh boy. Um, there's a sticker covering the synopsis. So I guess it's about a, a gentleman that works at a train station. I hope I'm right. Oh, Horton. Find it and watch it. The next one. I know everyone found this in the Blu-ray form, but I found it in the DVD form. Wakefield. Wakefield. Brian Cranston, Jennifer Gardner. Here's the back. What your, what your life would be like without you. Uh, I have been meaning to watch this. This is a Shout Factory release. It is about a gentleman who disappears I don't know what the reasoning is because they didn't watch the movie I know he's living and hiding in the attic above the garage and what his family goes through interesting Wakefield oh this one I'm so sorry that I have a little sniffles because I the fans on and it's blowing dust but I do clean this room. Why am I talking about that? <laughs> I love the cover of this. Sheborg. Look at that. Sheborg. Such a cute little name. Part woman, part machine. Total destruction. Here is the back. Uh, this is a wild eye release. An alien fugitive crash lands on Earth and begins turning people into cyborgs that feed on animal flesh. Sounds delicious. She bored. I was excited. I really like that cover. Now, I'm pretty sure I covered this, but I'm going to cover it again just in case. I would rather go over it twice and look like a fool than not go over it. Red Island. Red Island. Now, this has an interesting. It's Awakening the Evil. I bought this at Walmart at full price, and now it's at Dollar Tree, just, I'd say, about seven months ago. Hoping to repair a stale relationship, um, John accompanies his archaeologist girlfriend, Amy, to a remote island to locate ancient native artifacts. Then she unleashes a mythological creature. Red Island. The next one, Million Dollar Dog. Another animal movie. I hope I don't cry. But this one looks like a comedy. Here's the back. Uh, this is an SP release. Having recently won the lottery, Poncho the Jack Russell Terrier comes to learn that being rich isn't fun in games when a crooked businessman sends his two henchmen to dognap the pooch. Millionaire dog. That sounds like a good movie just to pop in. You know, when you're, when you're just doing your chores. You can just look at it once in a while. The next one I found was IFC Midnight. Rust Creek. Rust Creek. Choose your prey carefully. Here is the back. This looks really good. Oh, it's a Scream IFC. It's a collaboration. It says an ordinary woman must summon extraordinary courage to survive a night odyssey in the backwoods of Rush Creek in this harrowing survival thriller. Oh no. I hope it's not too much violence against women. Uh, women. Rust Creek. 
the next one is another movie I bought earlier at Walmart a few months ago. Beneath the Leaves with Mira Sovino and her daddy Paul. A killer is back. Here is the back. And this is a vertical release. 20 years ago, after kidnapping four small town boys, James Whitley flees prison. When one of Whitley's prior victims, Detective Brian Larson, is removed from the case due to impartiality, his partner and lover, Detective Shotwell, is left to solve the case beneath the leaves. Sounds very good. Hmm. The next one. Make Your Move from the co-writer of Step Up and Save the Last Dance. A nice little dancing movie. I wonder what kind of style of dancing. Here is the back. Uh, this is a Sony release. Woo, big time. Let's see, the music is pumping, the dance floor is moving. And, oh. Oh, it's like a Romeo and Juliet type of story. Except with dancing. Make your move. Moving on. Move into this interesting little gem. Chrome Skull Laid to Rest 2. I never really got into this slasher type of movie. Here's the back. I, I Personally, I, I don't like slasher movies. But it's a new movie at Dollar Tree. Uh, the Maniac is the Metal Mass Returns, and this time he's not alone. After his gruesome encounter with the girl with no name, Chrome Skull has to rely on his assistant. So, he, I guess he has an assistant helping him slash up people. This was the Image Entertainment release. Wow, another big one. The next one for all you... Ladies, or maybe some men who secretly like it, Sex in the City. Sex and the City, Essentials, Mr. Big. Three episode selection from the critically acclaimed HBO original series. Here is the back. Let's see. Sex in the City, Carrie ends up meeting a man named Mr. Big. X in the City, Big breaks the news to Carrie that he's engaged. I love, I heart New York. Big is leaving for California. I guess those are the three episodes. That's for everyone to look at. This one, I already got the Blu-ray, but I was happy to pick up the DVD because I love Patrick Wilson. Barry Monday. Barry Monday. Here is the back. A comedy that hits you right where it counts. Uh, this is a Magnolia release. Barry Monday is a wa is a wannabe ladies man who wakes up in the hospital after a freak accident to discover he's missing his family jewels. Oh boy. Making it worse, he then faces a paternity lawsuit from a woman he doesn't even remember. Barry Monday. I think he gained weight for this film. Look at him. Because he's always fit in his movies. And let's see. Woohoo! Then, one more DVD. Mad Town. Mad Town. The past can be dangerous. a dangerous place to go. This is a SP release. Let's see. A troubled young man. Uh, flashes back to the demons of his past when his sister is released from her 20-year prison sentence for the murder of their parents. Wow. So, wow, talk about family problems. Mad town. Now let's move on to the Blu-rays. I wasn't lucky enough to find this at my Dollar Tree in the last haul, but I am now Child's Play. The one with the nice Walmart cover. Here's the back. Uh, this is the original Child's Play. And it was re-released. Let's see. This isn't the original. 
Uh, let's see. No. This wasn't a re-release. Child's Play. Everyone knows about it. Chucky the doll. Or the killer... Um, the killer's soul goes into the doll and he starts killing people. Then I found Lost in the Sun. Josh Dumal and jo Josh Wiggins. How far will one man go? Here is the back. John is a rugged small town crook running from a past full of mistakes and regrets. He soon crosses paths with Lewis, a newly orphaned teenage boy who becomes an unwilling accomplice in an open road adventure fueled by robberies, guns, and deception. Huh. Sounds pretty interesting. This is a momentum release. Lost in the Sun. The next one is an upgrade. I know the DVD was released in the last haul, and now I upgraded to the Blu-ray. Renegade Male Flight Attendant Larry Gay. So I was excited to upgrade to the Blu-ray. Larry Gay is the best flight attendant in the world, not to mention popular with the ladies. He's part oh that must be a great movie. The next one? Oh, a good old classic. City Slickers. Billy Crystal, Daniel Stern, and Bruno Kirby. And Jack Palance, you can't forget him. He's a very important character in the film. I'm not sure if Central. I think we did do the interior shots. Let's see, this was a MGM release. This is hilarious. So these three New Yorkers decide to take on an adventure and go out west. And it's hilarious. City Slickers. It's a classic. You should watch it. You should really find it and get it. If you can. Oh, Fist Fight. Ice Cube. Charlie Day. Tracy Morgan. Julian Bell. The last day of school. On the last day of high school, mild manner English teacher Andy Campbell tries to keep it together amongst senior pranks, a dysfunctional administration, and budget cuts that puts jobs on the lines. Then he accidentally crosses his much tougher and deeply feared colleague. Oh, <laughs> that sounds hilarious. Fist fight. Last but not least of this Dollar Tree finds, The Heat, A Kitchen Revolution. I th I believe this is a documentary. Let's see, I'll need my glasses for this one. Restaurant kitchens are a pressurized stew of brutal hours, high stress, and sleep deferation. Acting out goes with the territory, and anyone lower on the totem pole is fair game. But the familiar macho positioning of celebrity chefs has reached a tipping point. Now with the influx of women at the helm of the restaurants and a younger generation unwilling to submit to the brutal conditions, once considered the norm, the rules of the kitchen culture, quote unquote, are as we know, are being rewritten. Oh, this sounds great. It's a gravitas release heat. So we have some time. Since we have a little time on my hands, I decided to show you a little Walmart also beside the Dollar Tree. This is what I found at Walmart. Coming to America, Eddie Murphy, first time on Blu-ray. This is hilarious. I love this movie. Join Eddie Murphy on an unforgettable comic quest to the new world. As an African prince, it's time for him to find a princess. And he wants to find it the American way. Well, his parents are old and traditional. And this was re-released by Paramount Pictures. Coming to America. A must-see.
Then I found a couple of um, a Scooby-Doo for $3. Well, I think it was less. And the Sea Monsters to add to my Scooby-Doo collection. Here is the back. And this, this one takes place in Hawaii, where I grew up. Uh, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy, Swaggy, are scarfing down the surf and turf menu until a giant sea serpent tries to swallow them faster. That's hilarious. Scooby-Doo! The next one I found, to add to my Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry, Mouse Trouble. I love that cover. Here is the back. Run amok and laugh it up with your favorite comedic duel. Tom and Jerry. So this one has... Oh, um, let's see. One, two, about five or six episodes. And this too has the same amount. This is great. What a nice surprise. Tom and Jerry, Mouse Trouble. Then I found... Emperor. Emperor. I wanted to see this movie. It's a universal release. Inspired by a true legend. Here is the back. And it came with a nice slip cover. I was happy. Let's see. Let's put this back. Emperor is inspired by the legend of Shields. Emperor Green. A descendant of African kings turned outlaw slave in the pre-Civil War South. Seeking freedom for his family, Emperor frights his way north, joining the daring raid on Harper's Ferry and helping alter the course of American history. Sounds great. Inspiring film. Emperor. Then, this was also on sale. Escaped at Danny Mora. Uh, do you remember this when this happened? Uh, Benicio Del Toro. Del Toro, sorry. Patricia Arquette and Paul Dano. A limited event series directed by Ben Stiller. I could not pass this up because this was on sale. So this um, series, it's based on the Stranger Than Fiction prison break in upstate New York. Follows the story of two convicts who spawned a statewide manhunt and were aided in their escape by a married female prison employee who became involved with both men. It's a bizarre tale filled with twists and turns. It received a lot of, um, it got a Golden Globe Award and a Screen Actors Award. So that's why I snatched this puppy up. The next, ooh, I must have taken it out of here. Then I decided to pick this up, Samurai Marathon, from the director of Candyman, an epic sword slasher. Oh, ooh, nice slipcover, but it's very tight, so I'm not going to take it out. Just going to show it like that. Uh, this is a Wellgo release. Let's see, it's a uh, let's see, it's inspired by a race still held annually in Japan. It's a lively action flick with a samurai twist. In late feudal Japan, a young ninja operates undercover in the court of an aging, aging lord and his rebellious daughter. When the lord challenges his lazy samurai to a, a punishing marathon, joined covertly by the princess Yuki, the ninja finds his loyalties put to a test. Interesting concept. Samurai Marathon. The next one that I already gave away, The History of the Kelly Gang. The History of the Kelly Gang. This is starring Russell Crowe, George McKay, uh, my little Charlie Hunnam. And this got Rotten Tomatoes Awards. This is a beautiful slipcover. I was excited about that, but there's no digital because uh, I don't know. It's a shout release. Set amidst the, gru the grueling badlands of the 19th century Australia, this rousing true story follows legendary outlaw Ned Kelly 
as he grows up under the bloody and uncompromising rule of the English. I watched this is an intense film. True history of the Kelly gang. It's the next one. Okay. I had to complete the series. I already started it. Escape Plan, The Extractors, with Stallone, Bautista, and Curtis Jackson, a.k.a. 50 Cent. I had to finish it because I already got the other escape. It came with a beautiful slipcover, and this was on sale, too, at Walmart. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. Let's see. This is an explosive action tale. After security expert Ray Breslin is hired to rescue the kidnapped daughter of a Hong Kong tech mogul from a formidable Lavation prison, Breslin's girlfriend is also captured. Now he and his team must pull off a daring rescue mission. Huh. Sounds exciting. Escape plan extraction. Then, since I love Western so much, I decided to try out Badland. Badland. I recognized Bruce Stern and Mira Sovino. Gritty and unforgiving like a Western should be. Here is the back. And of course, I picked the slippy. Beautiful. More than a decade after the Civil War, a nation tries to rebuild as an outlaw faction takes root across the West. Huh. Surviving in the West. Did you know I read in history books the West wasn't as brutal as we portray it? In fact, it was very friendly and they, a lot of people helped each other. There weren't that many killings. I guess it's fun to romanticize history. The next one you'll be seeing soon. A 4K brand new Deep Water Horizon with Blu-ray and digital. I grabbed this for our next giveaway. I'm, well, I don't know which giveaway, but I bought this to give this away. And last but not least, because I heard everyone ranting and raving, Cool Duder, Becky, Kevin James, Lulu Wilson, Joel McHale gray slip cover. So this is about convicts that take over this girl's house and it says it's like um, home alone and she outsmarts all these deadly criminals or prisoners and look at Kevin James he's playing a tough guy not a funny guy. Okay thanks for sitting through that was a little Walmart haul. Now you what you've all been waiting for. What are we giving away for the 500 subs? I thought about it a lot. This is what I came up with. Number one, a $30 gift card at Best Buy as a thank you. Number two, $20, two $10 gift cards for Dollar Tree. So that's $50 right there. And then I'm throwing in all of this. I don't know if you can see. I'll try and we'll do it slow. So you can see all the movies. I think it's 14 DVDs and 13 Blu-rays. And starting from the ticket up, those are from my personal collection that I repackaged for you. So from here down, they're all factory sealed. From here up, oh, sorry, from here down, it's all factory sealed. From the ticket up, those are from my personal collection. So that's quite the haul, the giveaway. All those movies plus the gift cards. Now, 
the password will be the password will be tree tree so in order to be eligible for this delicious great giveaway you must be a subscriber to the goy hunter family and you must use the password tree in the comment selection in the comment section or use it in the census or just say the word tree and that will make you eligible for the giveaway and don't forget you must reside in the us of a so thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart for making this possible for me to reach the 500 subscribers thank you so 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 much and this is how I want to show my appreciation for all of you. Please, please like, subscribe. Now we got to hit a bigger number. Write your comments below and don't forget, don't miss an episode of The Goy Hunter. Hit that notification bell. Ding! So you know when I put up another video for you. Thank you so much again. Goy Hunter out. Arrivederci. Ciao. Peace. And the Blu-ray Bandit tells you to don't forget to be safe and wear your mask.